What can you do if pain underneath the shoulder blade or pain under the shoulder blade persists even um, when you foam roll like crazy? This is a question um, that reached me through a YouTube comment. Um, there is Connie that writes me and Connie um, practiced an exercise, a foam rolling or massage ball exercise that I showed on my website. Um, which should help to tackle or to relieve pain under the shoulder blade. And she writes the following. I have tried your exercise for about three days, two to three times a day, and I feel nearly unbearable pain, but somehow no relief. Is this normal? Uh, it's a long question. I will read the whole question and then I um, will answer a few things from this question in more detail. How long should it take um, for me to start feeling relief? I also tried rolling other areas of my shoulder blade and I was able to reduce the pain on those areas significantly. But the overall problem continues. When I start using my hands to type, mouse click or other activities with my fingers like cutting fruit and vegetables, cleaning it, etc., the pain begins. I should say that this pain was caused, we should say initiated, um, by a hobby where I used my hands excessively with very small pieces of material over a long period of time. And after nearly six months of trying these different methods, um, by the way, I do not know which methods exactly she means, the improvement has been very small and I really feel, um, I really foam rolled like crazy. Several areas of my back hurt horribly, including the underarm, the side of my back, um, the entire shoulder blade area, etc. I have no idea what causes this pain, but it is a real nightmare. If anyone has any additional advice on how to deal with this, it would be greatly appreciated. Okay, let's go through this. The first thing that is always very important for me is to, if you have something that you call unbearable pain, go and see your physician. First thing, that's what you should do, not search on YouTube, okay? Having said that, let's go on, because of course, very often um, pain is of myofascial origin and um, not due to very serious illness. So she find no relief through the exercise. That's the first um, question she, she asked. The second question is how long should it take until I feel relief? And she has these um, feelings. I, I when I, when I s found that correctly. Yeah, the pain begins in the hands when she uses her hands. Okay, I think if the pain is only initiated through muscles on your back underneath the shoulder blade, the pain should um, change immediately and it should change um, with a lasting effect. If the pain reoccurs, that is a sign for a variety of possibilities. It could be that there's something completely different that causes the pain. But when we stay um, with the idea of myofascial pain, I would say there are other muscles that contribute to the pain, that contribute to the fact that some muscles in the area of the upper back and the shoulder blade, shoulder blade respectively, um, that stress these muscles, that overload these muscles, and so um, other muscles other tensions that display perpetuating factors for overload of the muscles on the upper back. And these muscles are the muscles in front of the body. For example, your abdominal muscles, especially the rectus abdominis, your pectoralis muscles, your pecs, pectoralis major and minor. Because these muscles, when too short, when too tight, have the tendency to draw your shoulders forwards, to rotate them inwards or medially, respectively. And thus, your shoulder blades rotate outwards <clears throat> and the muscles and the fascia on the upper part of your back gets stretched permanently. 
that leaves these muscles under permanent mechanical tension that can lead to an overload of the muscles and to the activation of trigger points that in turn can cause this unbearable, unbearable pain on the upper back. Additionally, the muscles on the front of your body, especially the muscles in the area of your chest, pectoralis major, pectoralis minor, and subclavius, can pressurize nerves that innervate, innervate um, the arm and thus give you pain in the entire area of your arm, your upper arm, your elbow, your forearm, your fingers, when using these, right? And um, so it is quite possible that this woman simply did not know that these muscles can, first of all, contribute as a perpetuating factor to the pain under the shoulder blade or, let's say, in the upper back area, and that these muscles can initiate pain in the entire arm. And what she did not write, but that might be of interest to some of you, these muscles can also create um, sensory disturbances like tingling, numbness in the arm and in the fingers respectively. So what to do? You should um, try after um, you saw your physician and ruled out serious illness. Um, or any other illness that might cause such pain like herniated discs in um, your cervical spine. Um, you should go and massage the front of your body and see how that feels. There's a good chance that this might alleviate some of the um, symptoms and the pain respectively. You could go to my website, panotopia.com, go to the trigger point overview section, search for these muscles and massage them. Or if you want to support my work, um, simply go to my um, website, panotopia.com, and buy one of my ebooks. In um, this case, it would be the ebook for the area, the chest, shoulder, upper back. I hope I could help you a little bit and um, say goodbye and um, thank you for your time. And maybe I will see you in one of my other videos soon. Bye bye.